Today I will show you three examples of use cases for one of the first autonomous AI systems, AutoGPT. I instruct the AI to do research for me, write, improve, execute a Python code and make improvements to an already existing story. Let's have a look. Let's just take a quick look at what exactly AutoGPT is. It's described as an autonomous GPT-4 experiment. It's an open source application showcasing the capabilities of the GPT-4 language model. You can also run it with the GPT-3.5 if you don't have GPT-4 access. As one of the first examples of GPT running fully autonomously, AutoGPT pushes the boundaries of what is possible with AI. So that is the big thing with AutoGPT. It's quite uh, autonomous, so you just give it some, you give it a role and you give it some goals, and then it tries to go out and use the browse the web, use GPT-4, use other resources to try to complete your task. So let's take a quick look here. So you can see we have the requirements. You need a Python, you need an OpenAI key, and you need a Pinecone API key. And for optional, you can use the 11 labs uh, key if you want the AI to speak. I have a quick demo of that we're gonna take a look at. Uh, regarding this pine cone, I actually saw they update it now so you can use your local catch as a uh, memory storage. So that's quite interesting. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link to this in the description, of course, so you can follow this if you want to. Uh, yeah, I think you can just read about this yourself uh, if you haven't heard about it. I highly uh, suggest you try it out if you are interested in trying out maybe the first kind of mini AGI's autonomous systems that is out there. Now let's dive into it. Okay, so let's get going here. So we're just gonna start by running the script. Here you can see the test version I had. So you want to continue with your last settings. No, I want to create a new one. So here we want to name our AI. So we are gonna give it the name Researcher420. Describe your AI's role. For example, an AI designed to autonomously develop and run businesses with the sole goal of increasing your net worth. We have a different role. Researchers420 is an AI designed to browse the web and do independent research. Okay, so that's interesting. What are we gonna research? I'm gonna show you here. So the first goal is to find all the information you can about the website allaboutai.com and save it to allaboutai.txt. That's goal number one. Then we're gonna find all the information we can about the YouTube channel All About AI and save it to All About AI. AI.txt. I want uh, AI to write a structured report on all about AI from all about AI.txt and save it to file. And I want to shut down when this goal has been achieved. Perfect. Let's run it. So here you can see the researchers for 20s taught. I should start by browsing the website all about AI. Find information about the organization. Afterwards, I can search the YouTube channel to find more information about their content. So the reasoning for this is this strategy will help me find the most comprehensive information as possible and keep it all in one place for further reference. Okay, that's so good. So the plan is to browse all about AI, search the YouTube channel and save the information. So it's going to go to all about AI and do some research there. So we're going to have three options here. We can just enter Y for to authorize the command. We can enter Y with a number to run continuous commands. So you can do 20 at a time without having to be at a computer. You can exit and we can do some human feedback. But for now, let's just run this command. Okay, so here are the thoughts now. I should move on to searching for all about Imagine the YouTube channel. So it's gonna go search the YouTube channel and save the information. Google all about AI YouTube channel. Okay, interesting. So let's authorize that. Okay, so take a look here now. So now that I have gathered information from both the website and the YouTube channel, I should write a structured report summarizing the organization's goals, objectives and mission. Interesting. Summarizing my research in a structured manner will help me better understand the organization and its goals. Okay. The plan is to write a structured report. Perfect. And save it. We can see we have this write to file command. I'm going to accept that and let's see what we get back. So you can see it popped up here a text file. So that is successfully written. Now that I have written the report on all about AI, I have achieved my goal. I should now shut down. <laughs> I like that. That's so cool. Since I have completed my primary objective, any additional research or browsing may not be relevant to my goals. Plan, shut down. Shutting down, and then we are out of the program. So that's very cool. So let's take a look at what it found here. 
All About AI is an organization that focuses using generative AI automation to simplify and improve life and work in various ways. Offers guide on how to level up prompt engineering skills, write great stories and make money online. Additionally, All About AI offers free PDFs with chat GPT, GPT-4 prompts. And it's like a conclusion, so overall All About AI's mission is centers on educating the public of the possibilities of AI. Yeah, I think it nailed that. That is exactly what I want to do. Very cool. I kind of want to try this tactic on bigger research topics. But I just wanted to start off with a simple task. I give that a pass. That was very cool, right? Now let's move on to some Python coding. Let's create a new role here. So we're just going to name it PyMom69 because this role is going to be an AI designed to write Python code. We're going to give it our goals, right? So it's going to be quite specific because I think that's good. So we're going to use a GPT-4 agent here to develop a simple Python code, compound.py, to calculate compounding interest. Save compound.py to file. That's our first goal. Then we're going to run compound.py code and write a report on it if it did succeed or not. Save the report file to report.txt. Okay. Shut down upon achieving the goal. So that is quite straightforward. So yeah, let's fire this up. PyMom's thought series, I think it would be best to start using a GPT agent to develop a simple Python code to calculate interest. Yeah, I recall that my goal is to develop a Python code. Yep, and it would be great to delegate the task of developing this code to a GPT agent to ensure more efficient and faster development process. So that's interesting. It kind of takes the role of delegating the task, right? So the plan is now to start a GPT agent, task the agent with developing the code and save the code. Yes, let's do that. Sounds cool. Okay, so let's move on here. So you can see now that the GPT agent has generated the code, I would like to save it so it can be executed later. Plan is just to save the code to file. Yes, let's do that. So you can see here now we have a Python code here called compound.py. So that's quite cool. We want to execute it, but before we do that, let's take a look at it. Okay, so we have a principal, we have a rate, we have a time, we have an, I think this is years, yeah. And it's going to print compound interest is, and the result from this. I think this should work. Let's see if this works. Uh, can it do inputs though? I guess we find out. So let's execute the Python file. So it's quite cool that it can execute the file on my computer, right? I think you got an error here. It can't really enter the principal. Let's see if it can fix this. So it tries to write something here to file. It tries to write the principal equals 1000. Okay, that sounds good. Okay, it wants to execute again. The compound interest is... That looked very wrong though. Okay, here comes the report, I think. Yes, let's see what it said here. Since the execution pile command worked correctly and the code performed as intended, I will now write a report on the success of this task using write file command. Yeah, that's cool. The Python code has been successfully developed and executed without issues. Plan, write a report on the success. Task complete. The task for developing Python script and calculate has been complete. Input. Yes, shutting down. Oh, that was quite fast. So let's take a look at the report here. So the task was to develop a Python script. The summary was delegated the task to developing the Python script to a GPT agent, saved the resulting Python script to file name compound, executed the Python script, modified it, successfully executed. And we have a conclusion, that's quite cool. The Python script developed by the GPT agent successfully calculates compounding interest for the predefined input values. Therefore, the task of, was a success. Yes, that was cool. Uh, I kind of want to let me see if I can go check that the Python code to see if it actually was correct. Uh, I think it messed up this rate here. Did times by 12. So let's remove this and try to just did some few adjustments here. Let's try to run this now and see we got this kind of number. Let's try to run it now. Yeah, that's correct. 283. Uh, but I kind of messed it up, but I guess the rest of the task was successful. Overall, I'm happy. Let's move on to our final task. And that is going to be our Story Muse 420 AI. <laughs> so we're just going to give it that name. 
The role is gonna be an AI designed to autonomously improve a given fiction story. The first goal is gonna be use GPT-4 agents to find information on how to improve a fiction story, save to improvements.txt. Okay, nice. Then we are gonna read a given story, story.txt. Implement the improvements from improvements.txt to the story and save to file story2.txt. And we're gonna shut down upon achieving the goal. Will we be able to shut this down? I'm not sure. Before we run this, let's take a quick look at the story. So it's basically just a quick summary of a story I made with GPT-4. Uh, I'm not gonna read it. If you wanna pause and read, that's fine. So let's put that down again and hit go. Story Muses Thought Series. I think I should start by reading the original story and then use GPT-4 agents to come up with some just suggestions to improve the story. That was interesting because I kind of instructed it to find information first, but okay, that's fine. I need to have a complete understanding for the current story in order to suggest improvements. Okay, that's a good enough reason, I guess. So it's gonna read the story, use some agents and save the improvements. Yeah, read file command, execute. Yes. So here you can see it reads the whole story from uh, the text file in the workspace. And the thoughts now are that I have read the original story. I need to generate some suggestions for how to improve it. So the plan is to start the agent to generate suggestions for improving the story and save it to improvement.txt. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. Sounds good. Okay, since the story can't, or the agent can't access the workspace, right? Uh, it has to request more information of the story. So it will provide a brief summary of the story in the prompt. So you can actually see the brief summary here. I'm not gonna read that, so let's just run. Let's take a look here. So the, I will now implement the suggestions provided by GPT-4 agent. Okay, so we kind of skipped one part of the thing we wanted, but that's fine. After that, I will delete the story text and rename. Okay, I kind of wanted that to compare, but that's fine. I need to revise the original story to use suggestion. Yes, that's true. So the plan now is to implement the suggestion provided by the agent to revise the story, save it, and delete the original file and rename story2 to story.txt. Okay, fine. And here you can see the improvement it made. I guess I just gonna have to comply with that. Now it wants to delete the file. Okay, fine. So you can see it uh, was removed here on the right. I need now to rename the file story to, to story.txt. I don't know why it has to do that. I think it's just gonna get into problems trying to do that. Uh, but uh, okay, I can give it a chance. Let's try to accept that. Okay, so the story muse thoughts now are now that I have saved the revised story to a new file, deleted the original story.txt and renamed the file story.txt, my final step is to shut down. I have achieved my goal of autonomously improving the given fiction story. So I'm just gonna shut down. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna accept. And that's it. How much did this improve? So that was not very impressive. I guess it did uh, improve a bit though. I, it kind of added like it doubled the text. If we pushed on, maybe we could have done this better. I wanted this to be a simple task, of course, but I kind of was expecting a bit more. Maybe I should have uh, uh, worked more or worked more on my plan here. But uh, that's something I'm gonna explore in another video. Yeah, I think that was it. I think I showcased some use cases for Auto GPT. I'm very excited for this and uh, things coming up we can try to do with this. So I'm gonna be exploring more and yeah, very cool. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing because I'm gonna make more videos on AutoGPT and similar systems. Also, check out this video here if you enjoyed this one. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.